Welcome into the recap of the Cubs 10 to 4 pounding of the Los Angeles Dodgers in LA, California on Monday night at Chavez Ravine Dodger Stadium. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust, the exclusive home of Cubs checking. Scan the QR code right there on your screen. Click the link or go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs for all the details and how you get your very own Cubs checking account at Super Sweet Cubs debit card. Folks, I didn't see this one coming. Kyle Hendricks against Walker Bueller. I know Bueller hasn't been great since he had Tommy John, but he's back pitching for maybe the best team in baseball. They certainly have enough talent to be the best team in baseball. And Hendricks, while he wasn't great and didn't record the win because he didn't go a full five, kept his team in the ball game, and the Cubs jumped Bueller early. Cubs scored early and often in this route. Uh, they got three in the first. I'm sitting there watching the game going, Wow. Three runs in the first. Cody Bellinger, a 430-foot two-run bomb. Michael Bush comes through with a hit. He had a monster day. We'll get to him uh, in a minute. But the two ex-Dodgers torturing their former club. Uh, Bush, four for five, a home run, three RBIs, scored three runs. Cody Bellinger uh, has, as I said, a big night. I'll give you his numbers in just a sec here. Bellinger, two for four, a home run, three RBIs, and then pitching-wise, Hendricks gave you four and a third innings, four hit, two-run baseball, two Ks, four walks. The walks got him in trouble, and they ended up yanking him uh, in the fifth inning when he loaded the bases for the second time, but they went to Keegan Thompson. He was magnificent. Did a really good job against a really good lineup. One and two-thirds, a shutout baseball, and he didn't walk a man, which usually is his uh, problem. He, his control, his command at times just isn't there. Now look, they're not going to the playoffs, but let me tell you something. Uh, that is a quality win. 74 and 70. I'd like to see them finish in second place in the division because here's the reasoning why. If you could take second and play well, win 80 plus games. So you're 84, 85, 86, somewhere in there and their schedule sets up to do just that then maybe, just maybe, they'll spend some freaking money and get a superstar in here and get a closer. 23 blown saves. I've screamed it from the mountaintops. If you could, those led to 16 losses. 16 of them that you had the lead and you blew. If you spend a little money and get a good closer in here or make a trade and then go get yourself one big star bat somewhere in the lineup, who knows? Will they spend it? That remains to be seen. Michael Bush is your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers player of the game. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you greatly. Take that.